<laughs> Welcome back to Kevin's Trooper Channel. This is the channel where we do all types of DIY projects for overlanding and off-roading. My trooper went from looking like this to this right here on this channel. Now, if you guys are like me, when you go off-roading and you get home, you're tired, you're burnt out, you spray your vehicle off the best you think you can, and then you put it away. The problem with that is there always leaves a little bit of mud caked in those small crevices underneath an off-road vehicle. Sometimes it seems like no matter how many times you wash it, you're going to find mud caked somewhere in that little spot that you missed. The problem with that is it's prone to rust. Whenever that moisture sets in that dirt up in all those little crevices, that builds rust and then rust is something that you do not want to have if you want your vehicle to last a long time like I want the Trooper to last. So the solution that I've come up with is fluid film. If you've never heard of fluid film before, this is quite an amazing product. It's a lanolin based rust preventative. So what I plan on doing is I plan on first power washing all of the mud that I can get as good as possible out from underneath the trooper. And then I'm going to paint any bare areas I see in the frame or anywhere underneath. And then we're going to attach this little tube that comes with the fluid film and we're going to spray fluid film all up in all the little holes and in body panels that we could possibly get to. This came with three cans and this little tube from Amazon. I paid right around $50 I believe on Amazon and it came with three cans plus this little tube. And this little tube has about a two foot extension with this 360 degree nozzle. And this tube can be stuck in all the little holes and crevices up in the frame and in the body panels so that you can coat those areas with fluid film so that you don't have to worry about them rusting. So we're going to get it washed first, painted second, and fluid film third coming up. tires with. I coated these tires with some kind of a shiny uh, product and all it has done is turn brown. And, 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 and I'm not sure which one that it was but I wish I hadn't have used it because I don't know if y'all can see this on film or not but this brown stain just does not want to go away. If you guys will look really close right here, I just scrubbed this and that brown is still there. I just found something that got those tires, those brown spots, completely clean. Never tried it before, but it worked like a charm. Brake clean. Might be a little unorthodox, but it worked. Look at those tires now. While we're letting that dry, we're going to go ahead and prepare our fluid film with our extension tube with a 360 degree nozzle. Now 
And it does say that the other nozzle is reusable. Make sure this is not pointing at your face. And there we go. <laughs> Ooh, that was that far away from getting me. I think. <laughs> All right, and the way that this works, it's real simple. It's not rocket science. We're just going to put this as far as we can in these openings everywhere we're able to and coat as much as we can in there. And every little bit helps. You'd really be surprised how many holes you have in your frame and in your vehicle when you really start looking. There's plenty of little spots to put these. And that's even more important on a truck like the Trooper because it has a fully boxed frame, which is really a good thing. But at the same time, you do get some water up in there. And I'm just squirting a little as I pull out. And I'm just squirting a little as I pull out. <laughs> and coating as many open spots as I can find. Look at the dirt and mud that's in there. Settled in there. I probably should take a hose and stick in where I can and rinse some of this stuff out, especially like this. And safety glasses, guys. Don't forget your safety glasses. So I have figured out that this lid doesn't really go on here. This sprayer doesn't go on here very good. You guys can see that? It's kind of going everywhere. well and definitely it's cheap insurance so that the bottom of our off-road trucks don't rust out from those little chunks of mud that we get after a weekend of hard off-roading so it's definitely a project worth doing thank you guys so much for joining me don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our great group of guys that we have here on this channel and give me a thumbs up because you know it means a lot to me thank you guys we'll see you in the next video